Today I'm trying to, uh, well, not install my back door for the car, but uh, kind of mock it up because there's still a few things with the hard top that need to be done. If you you can see the offset here, uh, that's because I've been holding it down with a C-clamp. Uh, I need to drill the holes for those bolts to go. If you, I don't know if you can see, there's a hole in the capping, galvanized capping, but not in the aluminum underneath so I need to drill those out because this body never had a hard top on it before that's one thing I really don't like is uh, putting new holes in uh, old sheet metal but uh, I'm gonna have to down here to make holes for the lower uh, bracket speaking of the brackets this top one I have this half of the hinge but I didn't have the half that was on the door I've just kinda got that set in there right now I didn't even have the bolts for this. I had to steal those off of some of the uh, spare doors I've got in uh, the barn from the 67 that this hard top and back door came off of. I was hoping to just be, buy the other half of this hinge. However, I had to buy this because I couldn't get it separately and it looks like this is a solid casting all the way down through the bottom here and there's no olive sort of a setup like down here I've got it installed but there's a bolt that runs through and there's like a round brass bead uh, called an olive that goes in there that it kind of all pivots on it allows it a bit of side to side movement as well and then there's a spring in that I bought two of these replacements here's the other one hoping that I could uh, just use the one half of this hinge but of course turns out that that's like a solid casting all the way through and then it's kind of riveted on there which is rather annoying might be able to modify that eventually but I don't have the tools or ability to do that right now and the other thing about this other half of the casting the part that I've already got if you look closely you can see that kind of slopes nicely and then it's a smooth curve well definitely not the same down here so that's a bit annoying also when I got this I was rather unimpressed with how it moved it just bound up like crazy but I ended up just giving it a couple shots of WD-40 and now it runs like a dream so today I'm hoping just to uh, kind of hang this top hinge off up here and kind of mock up the thing so I've got an idea where to drill the holes and what I'll need to do about the license plate moving it up or out or whatever I'm going to do to make it fit around the uh, bottom door hinge. Also, I don't have a key for this lock on this door. Luckily, it's unlocked at this point. So I was thinking of making some sort of a beam that can go from this to here, and then I put a padlock on it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm going to bolt this hinge. I think I'm going to bolt the hinge to the door first, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I'd like to make this removable. I personally prefer the tailgate and the soft top on this thing, but I don't have a good soft top. The ones I, the one I've got is actually sitting in here. But uh, yeah, that's oop, that's pretty much junk. The back part of it is pretty good, but the uh, front part that goes over your head, well, it's got a rather unintentional sunroof. Let's put it that way. So, uh, I'd like to put the back door on temporarily. What would be awesome is if I could get the top half and then use the hard top with the tailgate. Uh, but those things in the U.S. here, at least, are pretty rare and hard to come by. And when you do find one, they're, all, they're selling for like six, seven hundred bucks. So, that's a little bit out of my budget and right now. So... I might fabricate something, but right now I want to put the door on. Guess I'll just turn you back on when I've got some work done. Alright, so I just kind of held it up while I took off the uh, upper, the bottom portion of that hinge uh, right here. And I just kind of held the door up, and I definitely need to uh, fix this gaposis here before I can uh, get the thing even kind of lightly put in place just because of the way things are lining up there so these pads also might need to be uh, rethunk 
a bit. So that part looks a little bit out farther than should be, but uh, then again, this whole area is a bit beat up on both sides, so I'm not sure. These almost look like they were added after the fact. It almost looks like the weather stripping goes behind that. Can't tell for sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix this, and I might as well do it properly and uh, drill those holes out. I hate drilling holes in old sheet metal, but guess I got it for this. Alright, so I'm going to use a uh, transfer punch. Uh, this one happens to be 7 16 If you look, it fits, uh, well, it's actually a little bit large for this hole, but it'll get me close enough to the center where I feel comfortable. I'm going to punch that, and uh, then I'm going to take this drill. It's a bit smaller than I need, so I've got a file to file it out round, but uh, it happens to be a split point drill, which will make it a lot easier uh, to drill a sucker on center. Now if you look real closely on that, you can actually see the original green paint down under there, so that's kind of cool, but that's got to go away, unfortunately. Did I mention I dislike uh, drilling holes? in uh, original sheet metal. I've got a spot punched, and we'll leave that one out so I can punch the other side. I've got my drill. She's going off on me. Then I just file her out because the drill will leave a triangular hole because even though it's two flutes, uh, it makes like a, uh, if you've ever seen a, uh, what's it called, a wankel rotary engine like in the uh, Mazdas and whatnot, it looks kind of like a Dorito but it's running inside a chamber that's sort of shaped like this and it's basically the same idea is it can be uh, if the if you've got a triangle let's say that's a triangle you can take it a, a uh, you can take a length that is just shorter than the points and rotate it all the way around with a bit of oscillation and that's just what happens with the uh, holes when you drill a triangle so let's check that. Not quite big enough. Just kind of going through and beveling it so it's a little bit easier to uh, get in. All right, now on to the other one. Whew, that's tough. I bent some of the uh, prongs that supposed to go in holes. All in. Just up to lining things up now.
they're like uh, discs and I don't know if you can see it in there it's like uh, they sit in there like that there's a it's like a really thin top hat and it sits in the hole and gotta get them all lined up I guess uh, C-clamp it is for this back corner so I get a nut on there I wonder if I actually bent that panel in a bit There's some bolts up about here. I'm going to try loosening those and seeing what I can make move. All right, so what I ended up I ended up not getting that gap completely out. Though it's yeah, well I guess it is kind of out like that. So the rear body tub might actually be bent outwards a bit. I mean my uh, tailgate's been pretty beat on, so don't know if that was people getting in out in and out of the back. Or if it may have been a heavy load that shifted to the back, could have bent out the uh, rear of my tub. But anyways, I got the uh, sucker bolted in. Uh, what I ended up using were some clamps, a C clamp, and uh, where did I throw the other one? There it is, and this thing, which worked out brilliantly. I uh, clamped the top, the uh, top to the tub in the corners here where it was pretty strong and got it down enough that I could uh, screw on the uh, bolts so I guess the next thing would be to kind of hang the door and see what happens. One. I'm having trouble getting the second one in. All right, I'm not sure. She'll hang there for now. Hmm. Doesn't quite fit as nicely as I'd like to. There's a large gap over here, and none at all over there. Or almost none. this to stay and get inside with the nuts That's one nut on. There it is. One that I Well, that locked that up, so. Yeah, I guess I gotta move my license plate somewhere. Looks like if I do it up and out some, I could get it still underneath plate because I still got not still got between the top of my finger and the bottom of my thumb to go might be able to make something work all right so I finished up uh, making the spacers for my license plate here and got two brand new bolts holding that in 
I drilled, drilled those holes. It's not happy doing it. I hate drilling holes in sheet metal, old sheet metal. But you know, now that I've got it together and it works like a dream, can't say I'm, I can't say I regret putting this on. It's also, uh, yeah, the best working door. Despite the fact that the latch is actually, well, C-clamped in place, but that ain't going anywhere. And, yeah, doesn't take much to just shut it. Yeah. So that makes me really happy. And the thing's pretty sturdy. Like, I'm shaking the car, not the door. So, I'm not going to be carrying a spare tire on there because I don't want to drill the holes on that, excuse me, on that part over there to mount the uh, support. But... Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. I do wish it was the uh, cat flap because then I could get that nice breeze through here, but uh, the side windows do open up. And I discovered that this uh, window tracking that is uh, quite perished in here, all of it's in this kind of U-channel here. And, and it bolts in right there and there's also one on the other side. So I can take that out when I get some new uh, window tracking for it. And get that fixed right now I've got this one open it's the only one that really does open well I mean I can get this one open but it's a bear to get shut again so yeah pretty pleased with how that turned out dang it pull it back so you can see Now you can actually see what I'm doing here. Ah. Can you still see? <laughs> 